Yo! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Gospel Drummer Reacts. I'm KB, and I'm the Gospel Drummer. So, I was going through my comments, and so many people told me to check out John Bonham. So you know what, guys? Today is today. I'm going to be checking out John Bonham's drum solo on Led Zeppelin's Moby Dick. Like, look, guys. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, man, really? But yeah, guys, I don't know much about John Bonham. I've heard his name plenty of times. I even heard Buddy Rich say he didn't like his drumming, but I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I know he plays for Led Zeppelin. I know a lot of my drum friends think he's like the god of drums. So you know what, guys? I'm eager to check this out. I can't wait to f experience John Bonham for the first time. So you know what, guys? Let's get into it. Okay. All right. Wait, hold up. That sounds like Mac Rose. Okay. I like this snare sounds good. Wait. Hold up. Let me stop right here because I thought he was a rock drummer. Like, I didn't know John was into like jazz drumming. Like, at any time, did he like study jazz or did he play jazz? Because the beginning of this drum so sounds like something like Mac Roach, you know, Max Roach would do something like this. So, I mean, it's either he has big ears or he studied, I don't know, you know, much about his drumming, but. He definitely studied some jazz influence. You can tell by the beginning of this drum solo, man. I'm digging it so far. I can't, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, he got some interdependence, man. The hi-hat work and the kick work. Yeah. Oh God, he got some big drums, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah. He's telling the story. Okay, doing like a power response type of thing. Okay, I'll dig it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, with the kick and the songs, okay. Dope setup. 
Got the bongos and stuff. Come on. He sound like he don't got nothing in his bass drum. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh man, he hitting it with his hand, he bold. What was that, was that like a gun? Snaps the dynamics. Okay. man kick man that's definitely not a 22 if i had to guess i'd give it like a 24 24 25 man he has a big kick but it sounds pretty good man i don't know what year this was i if i had to look from the size of the drums i get this like the 1960s 1970s they usually played big drums back then i like his whole setup man his whole setup with the congas on the side and stuff man he has some different influences, man. He listened to a lot of different music, you know, other than the genre that he plays. And it's coming out. He's definitely listened to jazz, studied jazz, or even took jazz lessons or anything like that. And he definitely had some little Afro-Cuban things going on right there. So, man, I'm digging John. Yeah, man. I'm definitely learning something here, man. The whole incorporating the hands into the drum solo, that's a bold move, bro, because that could, like... <laughs> Look, my hand is sensitive, man, and them drums be hard, and if you go a little crazy, you can mess up a knuckle. You, I ain't gonna get into that, but yeah, John's the man, I see, I see. Whew. 
okay. Speak that. I need this snare drum. Is that like a lug with black beauty or something? That sounds good. Oh, look at his grip. He's doing different grips. Okay. Yeah. Power response, baby. Yeah, the crossover, yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I ain't know you're the cowbell. Yeah. Definitely telling the story, guys. Come 
Oh, man. Yeah. Man, you putting on drum clinic, man. You put on drum clinic right now. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll see you, John. I'll see you, John. Man, that was a true drum clinic, guys. All right, man, I see it. Man, he definitely had some jazz influence in that drum solo. He definitely had some Latin influence, man, definitely. His snare drum, if you know what snare drum he played, leave it in the comments, man. I need to get that snare drum sap. It sounds delicious, man. He has great technique. I like the tom work, man. He was about that tom work for real in that drum solo. He was. And his independence was great, too, how he kept the hi-hat going and he had the, had the kick going as well. So dude had some very great independence, man. I dig it. I dig it. Man, I like John. I really do. First time seeing it, I definitely love to listen to some other ideas that he has. You know what I'm saying, guys? So that was dope, man. Golly, thank you guys. Thank you guys for that request. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. I know it's the end of the video, but hey, thank you guys for checking out the video. If you enjoyed my video and you enjoy this type of content, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you know when another dope video like this is coming out. And also, guys, if you have a request, leave it in the comments. Also, if you saw something that I missed or something I didn't pick out in this drum, so leave it in the comments. Let's discuss. Let's talk. That's what it's about. Man, thank you guys for checking out the video again. I'm KB, the Gospel Drummer. Let's go.